Hi, I'm Becky and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I recently bought this Land Rover Discovery 2 to convert and live in full time. My travels and learning curves so far have been immense and I've enjoyed every process of the journey. Feel free to keep up to date with the improvements of the build and see where I travel to in Percy. This time I'm in the Scottish Highlands. It is one cold morning, it is minus nine this morning. My back door has frosted up. Heading north, I'm so excited, I'm super buzzing and what a beautiful day to travel. Checked all my levels and ready to hit the road. Before arriving to Torridon, I stopped to meet a friend for a little catch up and a coffee and have a tour around this wonderful turf house that they've recently built in Glencoe. I then got some fuel and some food supplies and headed north towards Torridon. I have just arrived at my park up for tonight. I'm on my way to Torridon and there's quite a few things that I wanna do whilst I'm up here. It's currently snowing, it's just started snowing as we speak. And there's been a lot of yellow weather warnings about the snow and that you could potentially be snowed in, but we will see. As well as that, I've really wanted to either drive or cycle, but it'll probably end up be driving. Balaknabar, which is a mountain pass which goes through the mountains and it's meant to be stunning. I've got a lot of plans, a lot of things I want to do and we will see how we get on. But I'm in a stunning location, surrounded by snow and the views on the way here were absolutely insane. As well as you can see I got my jackery in the background, it was great to drive over and get that charged up. After my long drive, I went for a low level walk in the snow, which was absolutely beautiful, before returning as it slowly got dark. Soup for one, bon appetit. Just something easy and simple whilst I'm on the road and saving some of the food that I got today. Oh my God, look at this. Moments like this is what makes living in a vehicle in the winter worthwhile. As you can see, I've just woken up and I literally went outside because I've seen all this coating on the windows and went outside to that. It's absolutely stunning it is so beautiful out there i think i'm gonna make a coffee and fly that drone up because you're gonna get some insane shots it is just a lovely thick blanket of snow everywhere and it looks absolutely beautiful I 
I think it's massively underrated how wonderful Scotland is in the winter. Even though it's really cold and can be really damp weather conditions, it offers so much beauty and a severe wild feeling. I guess I come to Scotland as I had a lot of questions on my mind that needed answering, and this time alone in solitude would do just that. I cannot believe how beautiful it is. It's absolutely stunning. Very, very chilly though. Right, I'm back inside, just keeping warm, looking through some footage, but also it's a bit of a mess in here and I needed to do some washing up. So this is the process I go through for washing up at the minute. And I basically boil a kettle on my gas, put it into this washing up bowl, and then um, Bob's your uncle. But yeah, it is so beautiful out there. I can't believe how stunning it is. It was such a good move coming north. I was a bit like sketch about it because I heard that there was a lot of weather warnings about the snow. And I didn't know if any of the roads would be shut or something like that, but we made it. I'm gonna try head on today. I'm gonna do some bits and bobs, obviously like clean, cleaning up. I need to do a bit of editing, that sort of stuff, and then move on. I really want to go for a walk in the snow as well. I'm currently using a eco-friendly washing up liquid. So when I do put it somewhere, it's not going to contaminate. <laughs> bad weather has come. It is upon us. After so long being nice, I think I took it a little bit for granted and we are back to your classic Scottish weather and it's been snowing a lot, which I haven't minded. It's now just rain, rain, rain and wind. In hopes to escape the grim weather, I drove on further north. I think there's something truly magical about driving and having no set destination. Just driving and seeing what you can see, seeing what you discover and explore and find. En route, I met up with a fellow D2 owner who's been following my journey. It was lovely to meet you, Lee, and see your overlanding setup and definitely encouraging me to get my rooftop tent as soon as possible. We're stuck in traffic, sheep traffic. What I've done is I've headed for this tiny little town on the coast. I went the completely different way, went a wrong way, and ended up at this place called Red Point. Absolutely stunning beach, golden sand beach. Yeah, I've come out my way here, but it was a good find because it was so stunning. It's so beautiful. If it was a clear day, you'd see for miles. I'm just gonna have a look at my map because I went the complete wrong way last time so I'm just using OS maps at the minute because I've got absolutely no signal anywhere after my big detour which was well worth it I finally found somewhere to camp for the night oh. Oh. Cold. 
I've just woken up and come out to this. It is snowing pretty heavy. <laughs> this is beautiful. The road's completely covered. <sighs> I was not expecting more snow. This looks like it's in for the day. It's completely clouded over. The most simplest and chilled mornings are usually the best ones. Just appreciating where I am, how beautiful the weather finally is, and the joys of lighting a fire and cooking your breakfast on it. As well as making a snowman for some one-sided conversations. The snow has returned. This is amazing. It must be constant snow showers today. Just got the fire going, got some coals on, really nice. And I'm gonna cook some uh, brekkie. I can't believe how beautiful this is. It's turned into a winter wonderland. Oh, it's coming down thick now. I'm so glad to have this awning up and the fire on just to keep warm. Bon appetit! I read a thing recently where it's a skill to do nothing, a skill of nothingness. The act of just being and not always striving to achieve. I found it quite interesting gaining that perspective on life. These moments of being present, being connected to yourself and nature and just appreciating the simple things is so wholesome. <laughs> After a couple of very cold dips slash washes in the Lochan, I filled my diesel heater up ready for the next few nights to come and started packing everything away. I'll save your ears of the horrendous noise of my heater, but I was basically saying how I had so much planned and so much I wanted to do whilst I came up to Torridon, and not many of them tasks were achieved. And I think it took a while for me to accept and comprehend that you can't always achieve everything that you set out. It's more about the process and the journey and enjoying yourself. The weather hasn't been the best to allow me to do the activities I wanted to, but I've enjoyed myself in other ways. Right, so before leaving, I've decided to come and do Balak Navar Apple Cross Pass, as it's something that I've really wanted to do for a while, and 
one of the reasons that drew me to this area. So yeah, this should be mint. So I'm not sure what percentage this is, but I just know it's a big old incline. If it wasn't predicted to snow all night and all tomorrow, I'd have probably camped up here. now at the top of Balakna Bar and oh my god it was so worth it for these views you can see all across the sea and it's absolutely beautiful a little bit more snow up here as well My camp spot for tonight. I'm just outside Loch Caron, had a bit of a drive and got this view. Dinner is served. Decided to cook in here tonight because I got here a little bit later, obviously going up Balakna Bar and that was absolutely stunning. That was so worth going up and watching the sunset. And then I drove to here, which is near Loch Caron. Got really, 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 really bad toothache and I've had it all day. And I've just been trying to distract myself and get over it and drink salt water and everything. But I guess that's something people don't really talk about is getting ill on the road and how to deal with it. I've just been taking painkillers to get by and swilling my mouth with salt water. Just when you're trying to get on with something and you've got this constant pain in the side of your, side of your jaw. Good morning. I slept really well last night, as always, but it is pretty grim weather. And to be honest, I'm not too asked about going south as much now. Although there was still loads I wanted to do and it's beautiful up here, I'm really looking forward to the things that await for me down south, such as seeing family and friends, getting a rooftop tent, which is something I'm really excited for. Just having that extra space somewhere to sleep on the roof is so cool and doing some more building on Percy to get it a little bit better and more comfortable when I'm on the road. I'm really going to miss Scotland and the experience I had here and being outside so much and in the highlands it was it's been fabulous it's been so so good for for this as well it was a great time to just come and think and figure things out as well as doing lots of walks going on my pat raft like I wanted to do for so long and also plan what I want to do up here in the future and little trip ideas. I spent a couple more days in Scotland doing some long hikes and some wild swimming before heading south. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you to all my Patreons for making this possible who are listed in the description. I will see you on the next video. Take care.